Now in this question, you are given that a ball is fired horizontally away from the top of the building and the building is 125 meters tall and the initial speed of the ball horizontally is 12 meters per second and it's given that the effect of air resistance is negligible so that means to say your free fall is applicable here acceleration due to gravity will be 10 meters per second square and you're supposed to find what's the distance between the foot of the building here to the landing point and as you know this path if you throw it horizontally out from the building the ball will go this way and you'll land somewhere around here and you are supposed to find this distance from here to here now to solve this question easily it will be useful to consider the motion of the ball horizontally and vertically now let's consider the vertical component first which many of you should be familiar with if I were to release the ball from a height of 1 to 5 meter you should know that the initial acceleration will be 10 meter per second square and because the effect of air resistance is negligible so as it falls the acceleration will be a constant 10 meter per second square until just before it hits the ground so you should know how to draw the speed time graph so you will start from the speed goes to zero and the graph will be a straight line with constant gradient and the gradient is 10 meter per second square and you reach the floor at the unknown time t and the speed will be unknown speed v so another important information is the area underneath the graph is the distance travel and in this case is 125 meter or usually if you are given the distance travel always try to remember the concept of area underneath the graph so now we have two unknown the t the time that it takes to reach the ground and also the final speed just before it reach the ground i have two unknown and to solve them you can actually use two equations and this is the basic concept i can use firstly acceleration which is the gradient is a equals v minus u over t acceleration is a constant 10 final speed is what we want to find initial speed is zero and the time so we can express v equals to 10 t the next equation that we can use is actually the area underneath the graph so 1 2 5 is equals to half times base which is the time times the height v and i'm going to sub this v inside here and if i simplify this is your simple math so and you can find that t squared is 25 and t equals to 5 seconds so it will take 5 seconds to hit the ground if it's released vertically down next let's consider the horizontal component and it's very important to know that air resistance is neglected so the horizontal speed will always remain constant at 12 meter per second but it will still take the same time 5 seconds to reach the floor so in other words, if I were to throw it horizontally with a higher speed, more than 12, then the ball will go further, will land further down, but it will still take 5 seconds because this amount of time, the acceleration due to gravity is the same and it will always take 5 seconds to come down. And the higher the speed, it will go further. So if you understand that, it should be very simple. Horizontally, just like a car going to, to the right, so if I want to find the distance that's traveled by the ball horizontally, I will just take distance equals to speed times time. In this case, the speed is a constant 12 and times the time, which is 5 seconds, you'll get 60 meters. So the ball will land 60 meters away from the foot of the building. That's how you solve this question. Hope this video helps you. And if you have any questions, just put in the comments. All right. Thank you.